Okay, let's work through challenge one, working with the map function. Reading through our instructions here, let's see. Create a function called subtract2 that will accept a number and then return that number minus 2. Then create a function called map that takes two inputs. The first, an array or list of numbers, and then a callback function. This function is going to be applied to each element of the array. Have your map function return a new array filled with numbers that are the result of using the callback function on each element of the input array. So let's start by thinking through our process and pseudocoding. So for subtract2, it's pretty simple. We're going to return the value of num minus 2. Then going into our map function, we know from reading our requirements here that we're going to need to return a new array. So to start with, we can create a new array. Then we know that we'll need to go through each element of the input array and invoke the callback function on each element and store the result in our new array. So we know that we're going to need to iterate over the input array. And then as we do that, we're going to uh, apply the callback, the callback, and store the result uh, in the new array. And once we've gone through every element of the input array, applied the callback, and stored the result in the new array, we simply need to return the new array. So let's go through and code that. Starting with subtract 2, that's pretty simple. We'll just return num minus 2. Now, if we drop down into our map function, let's create our new array, and let's call it uh, result. And we'll initialize it to an empty array. Now, we need to iterate over the input array, so let's just use a simple for loop. We'll say let i equals zero, and then while i is less than the length of the array, we will increment i. Now, we want to apply the callback and store the result in the new array. So we know that in order to add elements into an array, we use the push method. So we'll call results.push. And then we want to uh, store the result of callback. So we have to invoke the callback method. And we're going to pass it the value at array of i. Once we have iterated through the entire array and pushed the results of that callback into our new array, all we've got to do then is return our new array. Now let's just make sure that it works as we expect it to. So we will console log the result of map passing 1, 2, and 3 as our array, and then subtracting 2, we'll subtract 2 as our callback method. When we run our code, we should get negative 1, 0, and 1. Perfect. All right, carry on.